Just Drinking's back with John Watling's Buena Vista rum. Yeah, baby. Buena Vista. Buena Vista. It's just fun to say, isn't yes. it? I right? love it. It's like, I, it's like the Vista Cruiser, only oh, less cool because yeah. that car was like the coolest. So That was the coolest it, back in the day. Just kind of, ooh, the Vista yeah. Cruiser. It's the Buena that, Vista feel Cruiser. That right. I should name it the Buena Vista Cruiser rum. <laughs> I love it. Buena no Vista No drinking rum. and driving. John Watling's in the Bahamas there. We got this one. It was nice of uh, Jesse yes. and Mom to bring us back. Yep. yep. Our Bring, cameraman. Our cameraman who right. came. Well, right now our tripod is our yeah, cameraman. Yeah, he's true, he's yeah. not as skinny as the tripod. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, taller. brought it brought it back for us, which we're super grateful for. We've been instructed that after this review, we no longer have any rights to this bottle. So we're so going to drink the whole gonna thing right here. We're going to drink it right all right now. <laughs> if you guys are new to the show, I'm Robert. I'm Roy Ayer. And this is Just Drinking, where we drink rum and tell you about it. Make sure that if you like drinking rum, finding new rums, and hanging out with other rum lovers, that Join you guys us. hit that subscribe button. Turn those bell notifications on. Do Make it. sure you hit the like button. Come back each and every week as we got new reviews. we got live shows on Wednesdays. You can scroll down to the the links down below. We do this for you. We have the Just Drinking After Hours Facebook group, the Instagram, the TikTok, all our links oh, are down there. Man. And if you're looking for something extra special and you want some premium rum sent straight to your door, right make to sure you door. check out our Patreon there. We have our premium rum club where we are shipping rum straight to you. You get to sip along with other rum lovers, including <sighs> us, best. every single month. And it's a ton of fun. So we'd love for it you to check that out. Thanks for drinking rum with us today. All right, so the Buena Vista Cruiser rum. Okay, I gotta get, I gotta get it out of my system. It's just fun to say now. <laughs> Buena Vista rum from John Watling's. This is a forty percent, eighty proof, and we have a slight. Oh, story. Robert, tell us a slight story. A there. slight story on the back. John Watling's Buena Vista rum is exceptionally smooth with a harmonious balance of rich fruit character. Mm. Blended with rums up to five years old and aged in once used bourbon barrels, the result is a rum with the aroma of caramelized oak wood with nutty vanilla notes. It tastes its taste is smooth with a soft warming finish. Handcrafted in the Bahamas. Enjoy oh. with the finest cocktails, neat or on the rocks. Love the Bahamas. Ooh. Love the Bahamas. Yes. This, this is awesome. I've read good things about the Bahamas. It looks cool on the interweb. <laughs> I surf the Google when I surf the Bahamas. It's, it's, my, uh, it's my ticket. Very, very, very nice. It's the budget friendly way to surf in the Bahamas. That's awesome. Thank you. All I right. thought it was pretty awesome. Okay, so we are going to break, crack, do something. Get this gonna, open. What was that lead? We're going to break, crack. We're Dude, gonna, we're going to do something to get this thing open. We're going to pop this thing open. We're going to get in some tasting glasses and check it out. Wait a minute. <laughs> so this definitely has a dark wood, uh, more of a darker finish. Not like dark, dark wood, but it's definitely like, it's not like an oak wood. I think it's a little darker than that, a little caramelized. I like the color. Yeah, The color nice. of this is Looks beautiful. Good. It's got some it does have legs some on the side. decent legs on this thing. It's got an interesting aroma. It almost has a hint of spice on the aroma. It does have a hint of spice. I'm, um, I can pick up kind of a bourbon note to it. A little bit of bourbon-esque with a spice. There's a little bit sweet of sweetness. Spice. Yeah, like a... Like a sweet spice. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I mean, you get that as well, right? Yeah, the, it's the just got that spice. little bit of sweetness. I'm ready to try it. All right, let's do this. Okay. So I'm picking up some apricot. Interesting first note. Do you pick up the apricot at all? It's not my first note. I mean, I guess... Well, no, but that's like the most unique. So I'm picking up the ex-bourbon barrels, obviously. Yeah, I'm getting uh, like so a woody... I'm, I'm getting the oak. The a little bit of woody... Uh, but the you can different... say it with me. Oak. Oak. No, oh. uh, <laughs> it's, it's got this woody-esque... Uh, but it's almost got like a burnt marshmallow hint of vanilla to it. Um, then I think it has this little bit of spice that comes out of it. I think it's more of like a char mm -hmm. feel rather than a spice. But on the back note, aren't you picking up apricot? A little bit of fruity note. Like I definitely think that that is there. there I don't know if apricot is it the is. word. Trust me. Is it, I am an is apricot, apricot specialist. expert. Are a specialist. I am a specialist in that. I literally feel. need to see your like certifications for being the apricot I have specialist. It, I have it framed upstairs. <laughs> I can't show you. That right should now. be in the bar. I'm just saying that's a big deal. <laughs> It is a very unique flavor. I do agree. It has some sort of little, uh, I think it's more of like the nuttiness to it. it. Gives me more of like somewhere in that element rather than. Oh, really? Yeah, rather than like a apricot. It's really? just not what I get on my back. No, but I have a sweeter palate than you. Okay. So maybe you're picking up more of it because you are used to those bolder flavors that even the slightest hint of something sweet maybe catches you, whereas I maybe not, maybe not able to identify it as quickly. I'm just comparing it to some of the other... Uh, rums that we've that we've had that I know that have the apricot note to it and I for some reason that just comes to mind right here it's not it's not the overpowering flavor in this it's just one of those unique notes that's like oh I believe that's apricot yeah I think this one's just for me 
a little bit of a oak wood burnt uh, barrels, like charred barrels. Yep. A I, little I bit got with that. It. Yep. Not as much the marshmallow as I keep drinking here. I think that's more just a little light vanilla note to it. Um, I think off an initial taste, it kind of went that way. But as I drink it, I feel like it's just a light vanilla. And then that heat to it just gives it that spice-esque to it that kind of gives it that burn. And I, I feel like that's where I'm at with it. I, okay. I do so, get a sweetness on the back note, but I feel like it's just some nuttiness. Like, I don't know. Really? Yeah. So, so for me, I do pick up, I, I don't know if it's just the fact that I can't get it out of my head, but I got the char barrel, right? And, you know, a little bit of oakiness to it, a little bit of spice, but it's like this burnt marshmallow. Yeah, I got that on the front. That was like one of the first things that I got out of it. You know, yeah. this little bit of a burnt marshmallow, but then there's this this fruity note uh, on the back side of things. A little bit, I, get, I mean, I get where you're at with it. Like, I know what you're tasting. I just don't know if it's apricot. I feel like this is a fun cigar meal roll oh, on yeah. some ice. This is really I great. Mean, this would be awesome. Yeah, but you know what we're gonna do. I do, but do they? Oh my goodness, guys, if you're new to the show, don't leave, we promise we're experts. We drink in a basement. So if you guys don't leave, we're gonna <laughs> mix this thing into that. a Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. We do this for some general mixability. Now we know there's better things to make this mix this into, or not even mix it at all and just keep it on its own. However, we know a lot of backyard rum drinkers and people experiencing rum for the first or in their near early journey uh, are gonna do this. And so we just wanna give you guys a general mixability with some artificial sweetener. Is it gonna blend? Is it gonna separate? What's it gonna do? Gives you an idea as you move forward in your mixability, and we're gonna try it for you right now. Oh, this is awesome. You know, one of the things that I'm noticing here in our little simple mixed cocktail. Simple. It's very extravagant. I, very simple. Don't don't right? don't dumb it down, okay? This is Is our clear ice. Yes. I mean, the in case you've never tried a drink with clear ice. Totally worth it. It is absolutely yes. worth it. It, it. it really is because the ice actually lasts longer and it doesn't add all the unneeded flavors, and believe it or not. Unneeded flavors. A watery taste. A watery because taste. Because it doesn't melt Because it melts just. I hate when it adds the watermelon flavor. God, oh, my yeah. ice does that. That's oh. the worst. And what about feet? When do you taste I'm, feet? It's just terrible when you get ice cubes that they melt, and all of a sudden they taste like feet. I'm a little more alarmed that you know what that <laughs> tastes like. <laughs> Welcome to Royer's <laughs> other channel. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Now, okay. I like this a lot. I, I like do this. Too. I think this is really delicious. It, that heat goes down. I think before it had a little medium to high heat to it. For low smooth, to medium heat. Smooth, low, to, low to medium I'm heat. I'm a smooth, sweet rum guy, right? Yep. So I, I felt like it was up there. So I feel like somebody who's not accustomed to that, this takes out all that burn. You still get a lot of great woody oh, yeah. notes, vanilla notes, those uh, charred flavors. You lose the little bit of nutty or fruity, any of that extra flavors. The burnt marshmallow's gone. Um, and so you just get a sweetened up version, but it does go down very smooth. It you blends see, in really but the, well. But the flavors are all still there. Yeah. You know, they're, well, minus they're, the little details. Just minus some of the little details but they're all still there um it's delicious, it, it blends in very nicely it's very it really does i really like this i definitely would mix this into a backyard rum drink it'd be fun uh it's a nice way i don't think you need to add a lot of pop to it not that some people will be like you don't add any pop to it that's You're fine doing it wrong doing again it wrong. there's a comment section for that uh but you know that's, <laughs> please it's, go ahead comment <laughs> it's just one of those things that we we just want to give you an idea of like because we've had a lot of rums that separate right they oh yeah and, and they just mess it up yep. uh, but i really like the blendability of this one i would drink it like this i think it'd be a lot of fun i, I think you could splash. do some fun cocktails with this i agree you know maybe an old Fashion. Old fashioned would be fun yep. with this one. You yep. could definitely do uh, some really, really delicious drinks with this. Yeah. Whiskey yeah. drinks with this would be still very good definitely. with that bourbon esque oh, yeah. woody flavor yep. to it. I think, you know, I even think it might be a good crossover for someone that enjoys bourbon, whiskey. I think it's very good. Absolutely. I think they'll appreciate the woody notes of this one yeah. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Royer, we've had this one mixed. We've had it on its own. How much do you pay for this bottle of rum right here? Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, the thing. This, this was gifted. Gifted. Well, Let's be clear. This much of it was gifted to us. <laughs> From here on, right. they want it back. So, <laughs> so it was gifted. And you can actually only get this in the Bahamas. This one? This you can only get in the Bahamas. I thought that was just the Paradise Rum. This no. one you can get shipped to the States. Their website has everything except really? the one. It's just the one rum. That Are you, you sure? Get. I'm sure. If you can get shipping, you okay. can get this one. Maybe. You can get the Paradise, which we did that review too. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the paradise. I think he's wrong. I think I'm right. I think he's wrong. It'll be on the bottom of the screen but, so that you know. But we'll, we'll we'll have to you know maybe fact check this and add it in later. Add I, it in I, later. I don't know. We're gonna fact check. <laughs> Hit the Google. <laughs> I believe uh, what they paid for this particular bottle right here was right around sixty dollars. Sixty. I was thinking it was like eighty. There you go. You got I was a bargain. It's got sixty to eighty bucks. Yep. There's a bubble there. There I, is a bubble. Okay. So I mean I feel like. I like this rum a lot, especially for 60. If it's closer to the 60 range, I think they're killing it. If you go to the John Watling's distillery, they're in the and distillery. pick this up. Right, so that's, right? we didn't ship it. That so, you know. doesn't include shipping. Yeah, it doesn't include Royer loading it up in the truck, driving it to wherever yeah. you are. Speedboat and then on a plane. Takes and... a raft. 
paraglides in, <laughs> drops it at your that doorstep. Would that would be fun. With a parachute oh, yeah. on the package. Rum runner, parasail style. <laughs> <laughs> you realize parasailing is... Yes, I do. Like, Don't get all technical pulled. on me. What are you being pulled by? The Ford F-150? <laughs> <laughs> Driving down the highway. Roy Air strap. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo. A little rum running ass finest. The, the best part about that is them running into a traffic jam and you just continue <laughs> to go. Continue on for Oop. a few minutes, anyhow. Oop. <laughs> that is John Watling's Buena Vista rum. Make sure you guys check your local liquor stores. Look them up online. Go visit them in the Baham Baham Bahamas. The Bahamas? The Bahamas. <laughs> it's right next door to the Bahamas. <laughs> and make sure you go find yourself a bottle. Don't take our word for it. Go find this rum and have your own experience today. Do it. Do it today. If you guys like what we did and you want to see Roy Air parasailing on the highway to deliver rum, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Turn those bell notifications on. Make sure that you join us at Just Drinking After Hours, the Facebook group, the TikTok. We got the Instagram. And if you're a premium rum lover, if you're a real rum enthusiast, go check out our Patreon and find that rum club where we get rum sent straight to your join door. Us. Get to drink with us and you other rum lovers to. every single month and have a ton of fun. We would love to it's have you blast. there. And with that being said, Roy Air, let's get them home safe. Always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. And no rums were harmed during the making of this video. Not at all. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Wow.